Okay, this is the best I've managed with the NASCOM one. Um, that section there has all been replaced. Some stuff up there as well has also been replaced. Uh, a range of capacitors as well. That there needs to be set as well for some of the keyboard problems that existed. All the links have been reset. Switch it on. And we still have the random garbage there. However, we need to reset it first, uh, which is manually done. And that point there, that's ground. To, as you can see, the little arrow on the Z80 takes you to the reset pin. There's actually the ability to do it from underside, but not there just now. Right there, I'll reset it now. There we go. Reset. Now, it doesn't really do anything apart from arithmetic. That's all I've managed to get it to do. There seems to be some sort of problem. Putting things in registers, altering things, reading them. I just cannot get it to work. And that's working from um, known, known code. So what I can do is this though. I can add one and two together. There we go. Add one and two. Look at that. Gives me the answer of three. And the another number next to it, that's the difference between them. So I can do add, um, let's see, uh, 0, 9, and 0, 1, and the answer I'm going to guess is, there we go, hey, because it's hex. And, uh, well, the difference between them, that's got me a bit confused. Uh, 8 there, though, I think we've all got. There we go, that's it. It mostly works, I suppose. Can't really run software. Um, it, it's obviously working. Um, it came from a heavy modded board, so that obviously explains why things aren't the way they should be. The keyboard has also got a bit weird now, so I've lost um, G H J K L plus um, everything else. Is. So one of these keys down here on this side of the board, one of those, one of those um, ICs. It's not working properly, but still, I can only input hex, and saying that, I can only do ar arithmetic, so, well, it kind of works, I suppose. Anyway, there you go, that's con one. Cheerio.